Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. And welcome. As we journey... In a demo of sorts. Which we could play in four player as well. Also, this looks amazing already. Of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Let's get started. Kirby, for some reason, Kirby, Kirby demos are very appealing. Also, this is a great game. So getting it remade like this is very good, especially because the original was a multiplayer game. This being a remake of it means that it should be a really good multiplayer game, I imagine. Also, I like this story introduction. Spaceship's really falling apart. It's a shame, it's quite a beautiful looking ship. Ooh, glowing. Cool glowing. Kind of weird not having. Oh boy, all 120 parts are gone. I mean, the ship's still there, the main part of the ship, but all the mechanical parts are apparently gone. Good thing his computer still works without them. It's a bit weird not having any <laughs> narration in this. You have to kind of just tell from the music and the the action happening and what's going on. Kirby's making new friends. As always. <laughs> All of the parts are scattered around Planet Popstar. Gonna have to go get him. Because we're Kirby and the gang. Kirby, DDD, Waldy, and Meta Knight. On a brand new journey in Dreamland. I mean, it's not brand new, but you know what I mean. It's always good to go on a new adventure. Also, this looks beautiful. Look at this. Look at this beautiful stuff. Look at the beautiful. <laughs> Adventuring with Magalore. A visitor named Magalore has dropped out of the blue and landed on Planet Popstar. He's ready to land a helping hand during your adventure. And he'll, he'll give you potions that double your stamina and can save you from falling down holes. This will also activate Auto Swallow for Kirby. Would you like to, uh, for Helper Magalore to help you you play? Nah, I'm good. You can change the Helper Mag uh, Magalore or Auto Swallow settings at any time in the pause menu. Let's go to Cookie Country. This is such a great game. And it's only, like, less than a week away from coming out as of recording this. Hopefully I get this out before then. But if you have the opportunity to get this, do it. Because this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful remake of an amazing game. So, I, I have a high praise for this game. So much nostalgia as well. Just so, so much nostalgia. It's so good. Play together any time or place by sharing Joy-Con controllers. Up to four people can play together. You can even play uh, as some of Kirby's friends. If you can, if your controller won't connect, enter the controls section of the plus menu or pause menu to register the controller. So I'm guessing you can join in and leave at any time, possibly. I'm gonna have to test test this out quickly. So let me just do that, and then I can pick a character. But can I also leave again? Is the other question that I have. Possibly not. I've I've disconnected the controller, so. Oh, Plaid 2's control disconnected. That's just. I don't think it's gonna. Disconnect me? Hang on, what did it say actually? Before I go on quickly. If you can disconnect at any time as an extra player, that'd be good. No, you have to... No, hang on. I need to actually read it and then press A. Hang on. 
Give me a second. I <laughs> just gotta carry DDD. In this game, you can carry your allies as well. Or well, so actually count it as a life. That's interesting. So that's something else to keep in mind, I guess, at least. Now, I believe I can walk through these to activate them? Yeah. We can use the B button to suck stuff up, and then spit it out again by pressing B again. Which is a good way of projectiling stuff. As we get further forward into this, more things will happen. Also, the longer we hold down the suck button, the more powerful it gets, so... Gotta keep that in mind. Also, when we have something in our mouth, I believe we can't jump properly, or we can't fly. Because Kirby can fly by just fl jumping, basically. Hang on. Yeah, if we keep jumping, we'll fly, fly but we, won't, we can't fly forever, I don't think, so... Unless we can. No, we can, apparently. Cool. So if you just want to fly over everything, you can. But also, when you when you have something in your mouth, you can't, so... But Kirby's main ability, if we hold down while we have something in our mouth, is to copy it. Not everything has an ability, but most things do. If they have something that's unique about them, like a, a sword or a boomerang, you usually can copy their power, so... Also, food is Kirby's main source of energy, so we need to keep that up. Uh, but yeah, we have sword now, we can use Peter Slash. We can't use Kirby's suck ability while we have... Uh, another ability currently in use, so... But that's a thing. We can fly, like that. I think we can also press... No, we can I just hold up to charge our sword. Oh, we can do like an up slice. And a down stab, that's really cool. We also need to collect these stars, which will give us extra lives. Also, hello food, one of that. Looks like there's something behind this wall, but I don't think that's an actual thing, so I'm just crazy. Also, I love the way that the doors look with the, the stars above them. I think the number of stars above the door actually indicate what kind of door it is as well, so... Now, I think if I hold minus, I get rid of the power-up, which the power-up will pop out for us to absorb again. Uh, if we collect something in our mouth at the same time as the, the power-up that we just lost, the power-up we lost will take control before the other power-up, so we'll always get back the power-up that we lost before the one that we're trying to get, so we need to be careful about that. And anyway, we've got Fire Kirby now. We have a key here, which these keys can be quite interesting because we have to carry them to our goal, which I don't think we can fly with them, so we have to be very careful with that. And if they die, I'm pretty sure we're in trouble. But anyway, let's collect this part of the ship. And this energy sphere found. Energy spheres are scattered across the land. Try to find all the hidden ones. As you can see at the top of the screen above Kirby's lives, there are three per level, I believe. Although it probably changes depending on what level you're in, so... But there's a lot of things to keep track of. Also, I'm gonna just pull this in, please. Thank you. I'm gonna just grab the power back. Since that block was so huge, we couldn't destroy it. But because Kirby's suck powers are so powerful, we can just go right through it like that. Now, let me just be very careful here. We can also aim down a bit with this. There's a lot of cool moves you can do with each power-up as well, which is nice. Like, we can just blow fire out like we would normally with fire, but we can also, like, dash, which has usually in the past been a separate power-up entirely. So it's, it's cool that they've combined different things like that. Also, when we absorb lots of things into our mouth all at once, the next time we shoot it out, it's just one giant projectile, and it's really cool. But we can't really do it right now, unfortunately. Let's keep moving. Try to find all the secrets, hopefully, maybe. I think there are some hidden doors around, but I don't remember where they are at all, so... It's been a long time. This game is beautiful. Is there anything up here? There's an enemy. Doesn't look like there's anything else, though. Why is this world so beautiful? Also, I like the, like, outline style in this game. For this remake. Burn! And dash! And oh boy. Luckily in this game we don't lose our power-up as soon as we get hit, because in other Kirby games, as soon as we get hit, we lose our power-up and have to get it back again. Doesn't look like we can just lose it unless we die, so... Which is good to know. Whoa, this place is cool. Let me just get rid of that and grab you. Sword Kirby rules again. I like the jump slash as well we can do. It makes it very easy to just go through things. Don't have to worry about missing stars, but they are helpful for getting more lives. The only thing we really need to worry about are probably lives, but also um, ship parts. Now let me do this because this is going to be awesome. And fire! Destroy all that and get some extra stuff. Didn't need it, but it's very cool. Also, this, these crystals are very cool as well. Okay, we have a switch here. A blue switch, which once we activate it, is just active. 
But there are other switches that will need to be held down, I think. At least in other Kirby games there are. I, I can't remember where this one. I'm just trying to explain basic Kirby rules at this point, because it's, it's, it's very helpful to know the basic commands. Ooh, Void. Also, big, 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 big power-up. Let's absorb that and get the Ultra Sword. This game is all about Ultra Powers that we have, where we can just destroy everything in our path. If it's lit up with a star icon on it, we can destroy it, basically. And each time we use the power-up, it changes how it works as well, I believe, so... We get a different sword every time. Which I don't know if it changes how much damage it does. We also have a meter that we need to keep up with before this runs out. I think the enemy that gives us this power will respawn, but it varies each time. Also, we got Meta Knight Sword. I can't remember what that sword is called, but I should remember what that's called because it's cool. So, so this this is just the coolest. Also, we can destroy all of this and open up the subspace. Unfortunately, when we go in the subspace, I think we'll lose this power, but that's okay. Let's go in. The subspace is usually in each level, and you have to get through quickly before the thing of death, the wall of death, catches up to you and crushes you. Which will be interesting with multiplayer, so good luck with that. But at the end of this, there should be a ship part every time, so we need to be quick and careful. I think the wall possibly, possibly, I might be wrong about this, goes as fast as you do. Like, so the faster you go, the faster it goes. Well, the slower you go, the slower it goes, possibly, but I might be wrong about that. It might just be fast, possibly. So just always be on your toes in the subspace. Please, let me go. Made it through. At least that first room. There might be more. Oh, we have actually we'll have to do a fight. Right, that's how this works. We have to do a fight in these. These, obviously, here are power-ups we can grab. Don't have to worry about... Um, which one you grab, basically, but there's you they, they just usually have to pick it before a boss, so you need to remember that. Okay, here we go, boss time. Sphere Doomer. Let's do some damage. Dodge its attacks. Oh, here it comes, from the background to the foreground. Gotta be careful. It also likes to teleport around, I believe, but these also are... A, a common fight that we have inside of the subspace. And they'll have different variations of them, so we need to be careful about that, but there we go. Usually you can absorb the boss's power, but not with these Doomers, so... Depends on the boss, I guess. Anyway, let's grab these two energy spheres. And that's all of level 1's energy to collect. Also, that tomato is a full heal. I think if you get a f uh, if you collect any food in this game, you can share it if you quickly give it like, you'd quickly walk into any of your friends, so... Anyway, out of the subspace. Back into Dreamland. Let's go. And this is the end door, by the looks of it. I feel like there was something I might have missed around here, possibly, but that's fine. I know there's some, like, secrets early on in the game, but I can't remember where they are exactly, so... Goal cl click. Oh, goal game. So we need to press A to start. And then press A at the bottom of the thing to launch us all the way to the top, but we didn't make it quite the way, so that's fine. We do get some extra stars though for reaching the second level. I almost made it to the first level. I have, I have, I have not, I have not practiced the goal game in a long time. But anyway, stage two is now available. Got all the parts in the first one. Very nice. I think we have to collect them all possibly. A peek at Merigo, uh, Magalore land. Megaland is open. Megalore built a theme park in a distant world. It's filled with fun sub-game attractions and nifty souvenirs. Press X to visit whenever you want. I might visit that at some point. I don't know when. Oh wow, this is different. I think yeah, that enemy actually would, would have given me whip. Can I respawn you? Not from here. That's fine. The enemies seem to be respawning a fair bit, so if I can get that one to respawn... That's not the right button. <laughs> They're, they're pretty close together, so... Yeah, Whip Kirby, let's go. It's very cool. You can also hold it out, I believe, or just hold it to charge up. And then whip our enemies and just absolutely destroy them. Ow. We can also drop through pl platforms by pressing down twice, I believe. I don't think I mentioned that. Also, if you just keep tapping the button, it just keeps going. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. Take this! And that! And all of this. Just gonna keep moving around. Let me go down here because there's a secret door. 
as meant like as obvious by the orange star on it means you're not progressing the level if it's got the gold three stars it means you're progressing the level if it's the big gold door with five stars i think it is then it'll give you it'll just be the end of the level so anyway let's whip that one up across because we can't get past these gordos there's whip power up there if you need it but we don't so we're good Also, I think this might be from World 2. This might not be Level 2. This might be World 2. as just part of the demo. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is, because I'm pretty sure I remember this being very different. Let me go down, please. Let me grab that and that. We don't have to hold it down, apparently. My mistake. Also, these enemies. If you try to absorb them, they turn into bad. You do not want to try and absorb them, because they can't be. And they turn into these things that will be nightmares for you, basically. Just try to attack you. Very well, let's keep moving. I kind of want beams, so let's grab that. Try it out. If we jump and dive, that does cool things. Also, boulder, 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 boulder. Gonna avoid the boulder if I can. Which I think I'm probably good by now. Hit that switch. Another boulder. In front of us this time. We could go around it, but it's probably fine as it is. Unless it breaks something important that we actually need, so... You have to be careful with this game, it's... K Kirby games can be tricky if they do s sneaky things like that. Where you want to be in front of something that you're not... You didn't think you were supposed to be, or... Vice versa, basically, so... You need to always be paying attention to what the game wants you to do. If we jumped up here, I think we couldn't get back down, possibly. Or maybe we can, hang on. Yeah, if we jumped up the first platform, we couldn't get down again. This game... The, the, the Kirby games like to be tricky and like that. So you have to stay on the bottom level to actually get to that uh, part, otherwise you miss it out, miss out on it, so. Okay, let's keep moving. Also, I believe this is sleep, which I don't think does anything other than possibly healing you, but you can't do anything until you wake up, so. And once you wake up, the power's gone, so. It's it's a joke power, basically. It's a trick, so. Gotta be careful about that. Also, while Kirby's underwater, we can swim through it, but we can't, we can't absorb, we can only spit water bubbles, so. Have to be careful how we move around water. Also, there's... I could have could have used that, actually, I'm pretty sure. And I think Water Kirby is pretty fun to play with. Because I believe if we move, we actually slide. And if we hold the button, or just press the button, we actually kind of move quickly in, on, in fun waves. So that's really cool. You can also shoot water for us, which is cool. Just going to keep doing that. Really want to slide, though, if I can. Ow, my water, come back. It's all good. Grab some sandwich food. Ow. Sliding around, so much fun. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. That's <laughs> the name you should know. Also, I believe, if we go down this way, there's a secret for us. Let me just get rid of that fish quickly, carefully. Just a little bit of extra stars, which gives us some, another one up because we reached 100. But still, really good. Also some food, I believe, so. Let's keep moving. Hello. Just gonna pass through you. I think I haven't used Cutter yet. I'm gonna try that out now. I'm gonna try and use all the power-ups that I can. Cutter we can just cut with, or we can use... We'll just throw them out, and if we, if we missed catching them again, they'll actually keep going the other way, so we can actually do stuff like that. Oh, that was interesting. Also, this does seem more like World 1 again. But I'm, I might be just crazy in, in the way that the levels are. Oh, oh, ow! Did I just lose my power-up? Yes, I did. I was wrong about that. If you take significant damage, you lose your power-up, so you need to be careful about that. Oh, this tricksy games. Also, hey, there's a thing in here. A secret background path. Such a tricksy game. Also, I feel like that rainbow was something, but I might be wrong. Can run through here carefully. Very carefully, obviously. What else would I do? So this seems weird. Maybe there's a secret here if I come back later on. Maybe. Whoa. Be careful. I do feel like there should be a secret here. Haha! -ha. Now it's open. I remembered a secret! Look at that. I don't know how I remember that. You have to go to the end door and then back. But this is a special room. Because. There's a lot of stars in here. But also, unless I changed, this is a HAL room. A special room that you can find in different parts of the game. 
which always says Hal on it and has a bunch of power-ups for you. I don't know how many there are in the game. Uh, this is the only one that I really remember, so... Let's grab some more of these stars. We also have Sand Kirby, which is, looks really cool. Like, so cool. Super Saiyan Kirby, basically. We can shoot sand and all sorts of things. We can pull it, we can shoot an arm out. We can also just, like, slide dash. That's really cool. But there we go, that, that's what a Hal room looks like. I'm glad I remembered that that one was there. So yeah. Let's keep moving. Guess this is World 1 still then, because I, that's, that's where I remember it being. Also, hey, these things have stars on them. That means we can use the power of the, the void enemy. Let me grab you. Get the monster flame power up. Which looks awesome. Oh, we get to direct the dragon of fire up and down on the screen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Destroy everything. Gonna try and aim down. There we go. <laughs> this is so good. How is this game this good? The the power-ups, like, the, the mega power-ups are definitely the biggest feature of the game. L literally. <laughs> the biggest. The biggest and best. They use them so well, especially later on as well. Just, just one point in particular always stands out in my mind. Oh, it's so good. I'm looking forward to when this comes out. I don't know when I'm going to get it. Get the full game, but I'm, I'm really happy with this. Kirby demos are the best. Why are Kirby demos the best? I don't know. They seem to always be. Might be running out of power here. I think something's refilling it, or maybe it's just taking a while to go down, possibly. Oh, hey. We burned a big tree, and so... Open up a portal to the subspace. Just, I love all of this whole thing. Ah, so cool. Let's go into the subspace. Fight another boss. No power-ups, though. None of those allowed. At least none of the big ones, as far as I can tell so far. Also, hello. Gotta be careful in here. Also, in the original game, whenever Kirby died... Oh, because it's always first player that has to be Kirby. Uh, if Kirby dies, everyone else died. But I think in the new version, it's fine. I think everyone can live longer, so... That's good. Just gonna try and live as long as I can, quickly. And carefully. Please, give me the one-up, and... I'm gonna get the last one for... For looks, I guess. Let's go. I'm guessing this is another boss, because that's usually how it is. Leaf Kirby. Very cool. Can shoot leaves everywhere. That looks actually really cool, but also... Beam Kirby. I don't need that. I think there's Bomb Kirby somewhere in the game, but I, I thought that was going to be Bomb by based on the, the sparks, but no. Anyway, let's fight another Sphere Doomer. Also, we can shoot up. That's actually really powerful, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure this is really powerful, so let me just do a whole bunch of this, basically. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So even though I've never played the original game, I know what I'm doing. I know how fun it is without having played it. Also, we can destroy those. Interesting. Well, there we go. One dash two, energy complete. This game is so good. And it comes out in less than a week. Excitement. Much excitement. Especially if you can- ha especially if you have the ability to play in multiplayer. Five star door is the end. Okay, let's see if I can do this better this time. There we go. You have to- you have to do it at the very last moment you think possible, which is even after you think it's possible. But there we go. Thank you for... the stars. Whoa, hello. Stage 5 boss. I guess that means that the rest of the demo is... unavailable, so to speak. Hello, Kirby! I've come all the way here from a different world! I'm from a fantastic amusement park called Merry Mergaland. I run the souvenir shop there. Megaland is filled with some fun, uh, sub-game attractions. And we have lots and lots of neat souvenirs. You should come visit some, us sometime. 
Uh, I won't visit that just yet. I'm gonna finish off this uh, boss. So stages three and four aren't available until the full game, unfortunately. So let's go into stage five. The boss. Which, if you've ever played a Kirby game, or seen a Kirby game, you should know this. Also, I'm gonna grab Cutter because I feel like that's the right move. Although, Leaf is actually a... would have been a pretty good choice as well. Let's fight. Our old friend. Or enemy. Wispy Woods. Oh, need to be careful about that. He also drops uh, apples. Usually a boss will have something that you can pick up and throw back at it with Kirby's main ability. Of absorbing and then spitting stuff out again. Also, can I just like... It's probably faster to do it like this. Also, hello. Still going. Okay, boss is angry mode. Gotta be careful. Oh boy! Gotta keep away from that. Okay, he's worn out. Let's try and do some damage. Gonna drop some Gordos as well. Gotta be careful about that. Huh. Just gonna do that a little bit. Just because it makes sense. We can also go up and down if you hold up and on the uh, D-pad or control stick while pressing B. And that's a really powerful attack. That's like my favorite Kirby attack ever. Is the up slash and down again. But anyway. This is our first major part of the ship. Let's grab it. Grab it, then go. The full version features even more stages and copy abilities. Your friends can also play as Kirby. Just because it helps. Various challenges and bosses await you on your adventure. Whole lot of fun for everyone. <laughs> this is showing a lot of the game, so I hope, hope you don't mind seeing that. But there's a lot to enjoy here. Mario Mega Land is filled with fun sub-game attractions. You can wear the dress-up masks you've clear earned in story mode too. And after clearing the story, another tale unfolds. You'll be able to adventure with Magalor as he wanders through the interdimensional space. Magalor will ne need your aid in gathering magic to boost his powers. Will Magalore be able to escape from the interdimensional space? Also in multiplayer. The adventure, the sub-games, everything gone to Lux. All modes can be played, solo or with multiplayer. The story continues in the full version of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, available in less than a week. Kirby and friends are on a grand adventure on Planet Popstar. You can share Joy-Con controllers any time to play together with up to three additional pals. In Merry Go Land, you can join a 100 Kirby battle in Samurai Kirby 100, or take a Megalore tour to complete across compete across multiple sub-game game attractions. Now, after cleaning the main story, yeah, <laughs> this is stuff we've already looked at. But anyway, let me go back to the mode selection for now. You can now take on Wispy Woods EX in, a, in the boss stage. New copy abilities are avail available inside the lore, which I think is the ship name that we are trying to fix. You can take them into stages or to try them out. So there's a lot of stuff that is, uh, is available in this demo. I didn't go into full demo uh, 
We didn't go into all the details in the other Kirby demo that I did. So let's go into a little bit more detail on this one. We can go back to the ship, of course. Hey, Kirby! The lore is looking a bit better now that the ores are back in place, eh? We found seven of my, of my energy spheres. As for the missing parts, I still need you to track down... The right wing, the left wing, the emblem, and the mast. What bad luck for my poor ship to have completely broken down like this. But I'm so glad to have met someone as kind as you, Kirby. So there's a lot left to go. There's also some extra stuff in the ship that we can't access currently. And some stuff that we can. I believe this is the copy room, which allows us to just use any power-up. There are a bunch of them. I believe there's fighter here that we haven't used it. How? Hang on. How do I? I was just trying to drop my power up. Why can't I do that? I don't know. There's also ninja Kirby. Oh, we have to hold Y to drop power. Okay, that's interesting. There's also tornado Kirby and jump Kirby. Jump to the max. Also, whoa, that's cool. There's also just a dummy up here that we can absolutely destroy if we want to. Just for fun. Not that we really need to, but anyway. Let me just quickly hop down here and grab Ninja Kirby. Which I think if we're standing still we can just shoot out a whole bunch of things. So that's cool. Uh, but I want to go ch take a look at the boss and maybe the other place that we unlocked in Merry Mago Land. I'd really like to try out the um, the new post-story mode, but that's not going to be available in the demo, so... Gonna have to get the full game to see what that's all about. I mean, it makes sense why, but still. Go back to Cookie Country. <laughs> My favorite kind of country, it sounds like. This is so beautiful. Just looking at all the assets in the game again, it looks really good. In its deluxe form. Yes, I'd like to challenge Whisper Woods AX. The tough challenge. I like when you ha like when Kirby games have a tough boss. Also, we don't have much health as this. In this mode at least, so that's interesting. Let's see how this goes. Kirby bosses are really good, I'd say. Whoa! Well, bomb apple, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it's gonna explode, yeah. Halfway. This is going well so far. As you can see, Ninja is a little bit of uh, something for bosses, at the very least. Oh boy. Have to be a little bit careful now, especially because it's apples now. I don't know if those apples heal us, unfortunately. They just are used as projectiles. As all good things should be. Oh boy. Flying enemies. Interesting, but we're almost done with this fight. We're almost done with this fight! There we go! Perfect. Already have these, but we can collect them again anyway. I'm interested to see the rest of the EX bosses as well. See what they're like. It's always good to have an extra challenge. But anyway, that's all of the main, main game content. So let's go, if I can, please, to mode selection and go to Merry Magoland. Which looks great. Just with Kirby. Hey Kirby, welcome to Merry Magoland! I built this theme park in the, and filled it with all kinds of sub-game attractions and other cool stuff. I haven't made a, rally, a stamp rally. It's super fun. Try out the various sub-game attractions and collect a bunch of stamps as you go. Oh, and as a special thanks for stopping by, I've got a souvenir for you. You're welcome. Got a Waldy mask. So now we can dress up as Waldy. And the following souvenir, an energy drink. Interesting. The souvenir shop in the entrance plaza will hold all, all of your souvenirs for safekeeping. Be sure to check it out when you have time. Now off you go, have fun out there. 
Also, I think I forgot to mention, but the other characters that you can play as, other than Kirby, at least when you're in multiplayer, I don't know if you can play as other characters as if you're first player, but they have they always have a weapon with them. Like, uh, so Meta Knight always has a sword, Waldy always has a spear, and Diddy always has a hammer. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, but anyway, it looks like there's only one mini game available to us, or two mini games. This is also a very interesting mo map. I was not expecting it to work like this, but we can just go up and down, and it just works like that. That's really cool. Like, it's all part of one just big screen. It doesn't just, like, change. Anyway, let's go to Booming Blasters. Which, this looks like we play tanks. I have no idea what this is. Oh, blast your rivals with shots using B. Hold B to fire from an overhead shot. Get rivals twice to le level up your shots. Be careful not to run out of ammo. Pick up energy capsules to recharge. Dodge shots from your rivals by pressing A to jump. When a bl super blaster appears, use it to take out multiple rivals at once by with uh, with, a, with a piercing super shot. You can even blast through walls. These mini games look pretty cool. Obviously, I love I love the main game more than the these mini games that are here, but still. Okay. I can't shoot through that wall, but that's okay. I'm gonna run out of ammo. I'm not careful. Just gonna grab all this. And do a bunch of this. I can also jump as well, so I need to be probably doing that. Charging seems to be the strat. Gotta be honest. I don't think firing. Ow! Just firing randomly is going to help much. With me? No. I'm fine. For the most part. Although it, it's weird with these short shots because they just go very slightly. Don't go for me. Why are you going for me? Why would you go for me? I'm not that good. Calm down. Level up. Game over sound. Maybe just regular shooting is as powerful as it could be. Take this. Take this, D to D. Ah, dying. Almost out again. There's a lot of extra ammo, though, so that's good. Uh, what is this? Approaching? This is the boss. A uh, boss approaching, apparently. There we go. There's D to D. Oh, we actually have health bars. Oh, a set health bars. I'm fine. Come on, it's just one left. There we go. That's actually a very interesting mode. It'll be interesting to play with other people, so... It didn't feel terribly unbalanced, either. That was very interesting. Like, it's- it's- it makes it easy to mess up, which makes it feel a lot easier to be on, like, even playing ground. Level 2 and level 3 are available now. I'm gonna leave that for the moment, though. I don't feel particularly inclined to go through all the- that minigame. Or even just, like, any extra minigames to unlock, because I don't think we're gonna unlock any more. At least not in this... variation. This demo. Pretty sure. I think it's just these two for the moment, so... Ninja Dojo! Swing your Joy-Con to throw a ninja star. You can also just press A. Trying to hit the target as mo it moves across the screen. The closer to the cent you are to the center, the more points you'll earn. Hit the yellow area for a bullseye bonus. This one's a good one. I think these minigames were in the original on the ship. Possibly. Or at least this one was. I don't know about the other one. Okay, here we go. I don't think we can move our cursor, so we have to just wait for the thing to move into position. And then everyone shoots all at once. Also, this feels a lot like, um... What game is it? Oh, it's we play in the, the shooting game. You know what I mean. Like in, like, in between rounds, it feels the most like that. Bullseye. It's so peaceful. 
But there we go. 306 points. That's alright, I could have done a lot better, but still. Warrior and Master difficulties available. I'll try Warrior. This one's a little bit more fun than the other one, at least. Which is weird because it's so simple compared to the other one. I don't know why I'm doing this one more, but it's all about timing, Bullseye. I think the first person to hit gets more points than the rest as well. Like, if the, the, the sooner you hit it, the better off you are, possibly, but that might just be because you're probably more likely to get the bullseye. If you time it right, at least. A lot of fake ones, and then a real one. This is very satisfying. Target 4. Bullseye. I don't know how I got that. That was pretty close. Wasn't a great shot, but we'll take it. Final target. Oh, that one's tricky. It, like, speeds up in the middle. But it was alright. I'll take 728 points. Three straight bullseyes. Nice. So I'm guessing we got a lot of missions cleared by doing that. Uh, I guess there's a lot of missions to do. A lot of items we can unlock. There are a bunch of other things you can carry around as well, which one of those things that we just unlocked reminded me of. Kawasaki mask. Interesting. So there's a lot to do here, apparently. At least in the full game, there is. But this is, this is a really good demo. <laughs> Gotta say. Really enjoying this. But I'm going to leave it here for now. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.